Hey going everyone, so last month Discord released a new SDK that allows us to create our own activities on Discord and due to a dev off of a fellow developer, I decided to make use of it. So we're going to go through a step by step guide on how to set up your own activity. Alrighty, so step one, we're going to head into the developer portal and create a new application. I'll keep it something simple. Give it a quick icon and save my changes. Now clicking get started under activities in the left hand side panel and click get started and just set our activity settings. For this tutorial, I'm going to set it to landscape as it's a roguelike and leaving supported platforms as the default. Go to art settings, just give it some sample backgrounds. before making sure the save your changes. All right, step two, moving over to a new tab. We're gonna open up my repository called Spell Cordity. Give it a quick star before clicking use this template and selecting create a new repository. Name the repository whatever you like. And setting your repository status to private. Click create repository. And now we have our starter template set up. Now from here, we have one of two methods to get our repository set up. The first is by cloning it the standard way with our instructions down below when it gets started. Or an even simpler method is to just simply use GitHub Desktop, which I already have open. If you don't know how to use GitHub Desktop, I have provided a tutorial on my channel, link down below. So selecting the top left, going to click add, Clone repository, typing in our new repository's name before cloning it. Now using your editor of choice, we're going to open the project. Now as I am using Visual Studio Code, we're going to click the top right, toggle panel, or use Control J before typing in npm i. This sets up our node modules that will be used for our project when running our local host server. All right, next we're going to open up our source, heading into lib and selecting our config TS. Now, as I'll be using a default build, from here, we're gonna head back to our developer portal, selecting auth2 in the left-hand side panel and under client information, we're going to copy our client ID for pasting it into our config. As I'm using a default build, I'm not going to rename any other of these options for the purposes of this tutorial, but feel free to do it for your own project. Next, I'm just going to create a new .env file that will store both my client ID and client secret. You may be panicking right now, sleepy koala, why are you showing your client secret? It doesn't matter as this will only be used for the purposes of this tutorial before being deleted. From here, we're now going to set up our build files within our static folder. If you're using Visual Studio Code, you can right click the static folder and select reveal in file explorer. Before proceeding, let's head into our Unity project. Here, we're going to go into file, build settings, making sure that our WebGL platform is our current platform that we're using. We're going to set our code optimization to runtime speed. Before heading into our player settings, here we're going to head into player, selecting resolution and presentation, before selecting minimal under WebGL template, before exiting out of our project settings and clicking build, selecting our folder of choice. Once built, we're going to go into our folder, highlight our build folder, and simply copy it before returning to our static folder. Paste the new build files into the folder, replacing all files within the folder. Now heading back into the editor, we're going to type npm run dev. And from here, we can now test our new project. If you receive a warning, it's okay, as we use a package that provides us a self-signed certificate. And here we have it. Now we can see that it works on our local host but we want to see it work in our actual Discord app. Now I've come across the issue where you actually need to set up a Discord proxy to use it in our Discord app. 
but it works just fine on the Discord web version. So open up a new tab of your Discord profile. Now you need to be within a server that has 25 members or less due to the preview development stage for Discord activities. From here, we're going to go to the user settings and click advanced. Making sure developer mode is toggled on before toggling our application test mode. Now, before we do toggle it, we're going to go back into a developer portal and copy our client ID. Now, toggling it, we're going to paste it in, set our local host port number to 5173, which is the default for Svelte Kit, before clicking activate. We've now added the activity to our list of activities. So going back, we're going to now join any voice channel, making sure we're deafened. Here we can choose our activity before selecting the activity that we created. Clicking continue and follow up. Authorize the app and we can begin testing our Unity game within Discord. All right, from here, we can go back into our visual editor. Now let's turn off our dev server before typing npm run build. Now, as we're using Spout Kit, we need to assign the appropriate adapter, an adapter which can be found following the kit Spout docs. I won't be covering adapters in this video. However, I will show how you can host it on Azure static web apps. But before we continue in Azure, let's quickly head on over to GitHub Desktop to save our changes. You would find relative build files in this section within the changes list, but as I'm still using a generic roguelike, I only have to update my config. Make sure to push it to origin before heading over to step three, Azure. Now I've already created a resource group or rather I'm borrowing a resource group for the purposes of this tutorial. Now the steps are pretty straightforward. We're going to simply click create, searching the marketplace for static web app. Click create, static web app. Now placing in our project name, leave it on free as our plan type. Now you may have never used continuous development before in Azure. That's okay. There should be a small section here that lets you sign into your GitHub account. Now making sure our source is GitHub and we're in the right GitHub account. We're going to select our organization, our repository before selecting our framework, which is SpeltKit. Leave everything defaults, preview the workflow if you wish. From here, we're just going to click advanced, select our staging area for Azure functions. So this will be your server backend. I will leave mine on East Asia as I'm located in Australia. For setting the tags, clicking review and create and click create. This is a relatively straightforward process. So as it's deploying our new static web app, it's going to actually send a new workflow file into our repository which we should be able to see right here. Commit, continuous integration, adds the Azure Static Web Apps workflow file. Now heading back to our Azure portal, we're going to click go to resource and clicking our domain, we're going to see our new roguelike. Yay. Now last step, we're going to copy our URL, heading back into our developer portal. We're going to go into our left-hand side panel, URL mappings, and paste the URL into the target for our root directory for clicking save changes. Now from here, if you go into your Discord app or web app, you can choose. Since we used the web earlier on, I will now show you the Discord app since we've set up our Discord proxy. So going into the Discord app, I'm gonna go back into user settings at advanced, turning application test mode back on, putting in our client ID for selecting our URL origin type, as Discord proxy before clicking activate. Alrighty, from here, once again, join a voice channel, choose some activity, and we can select our new project, which now doesn't need local host. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want your friends or Patreon supporters to try out your game on Discord, you simply have to provide them the client ID and add them to the app testers through the developer portal which is once again a left hand side panel. Anyways, like the video or comment, it's sure to help out the algorithm and allow this video to reach more people. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I've been the Sleepy Koala. Thank you.